Hey there guys, I'm doing another JP video today. Um, for those of you that watched my JP videos, you saw that I made an attempt on the Wicked Moon trial, and I really, really, really need a new mage. Um, same reason I haven't beaten the bomb trial yet is, again, I just really need a better mage than Ellie, who is my current best mage on JP. Uh, so I'm going to be pulling for CG Dark Fina. Now, I wanted to pull for Saul, but I've been waiting for like two months for Saul to appear on these little banners. You see 25, 26. There's a, like a new banner that features two old units, and you get two new units every like three days. And Saul has just not appeared on this banner for me. So I'm going to be going for the next best thing, which is CG Dark Fina. She's currently on a banner with Luna Freya, who is a Final Fantasy XV unit. Uh, but I'm actually pulling for Dark Fina. Now this is a festival banner, which means the pool of units is limited. Um, it's only a certain amount. I think like 60 or 80 rainbows. I don't know how many exactly. But the really old stuff like Delita and Luna and all are not in the pool, as I understand it. Uh, it's only newer rainbows. And the festival units like CG Dark Fina, CG Rain, um, CG Onion Knight, etc. Uh, also, the ticket rate is 5% per blue ticket instead of 3%. And supposedly the on banner rate is higher too. So I'm just going to be using some tickets and trying to get two copies of CG Dark Fina because I really want a mage. Uh, now, Luna Freya is a support unit, and if I got her, um, you know, she's not bad. She's a pretty decent unit, she seems like. But obviously, I want um, Fina. So, two Finas is the goal. And then, I'll probably stop after that. If I get one Freya and two Finas within a small amount of tickets, I might keep going for the second Freya, Luna Freya, because, um, you know, she is a good 7-star. But the real goal is Fina. Or CG Dark Fina. And she actually does have a CG animation. It's kind of kind of neat, actually. And I've got a lot of tickets on JP. As you see, I've got like 400-something tickets. So, pretty good. I think my chances are pretty decent to get to get her. Hopefully. I haven't done pulls on JP in a really long time. My last unit was Bart's, but I just, I just used a choice two of him. I didn't act in full form. Uh, I pulled for... CG Warrior Blight, but not really. I was like pulling for a synergy or something, and I got two of him just real easily. Yeah, I'm not sure the last unit that I like actually chased on JP. Probably Axtar, like nine months ago, <laughs> which is why I've got so many tickets. I've just been you know storing them up for like um, nine, ten months. But no rainbows yet. It's unfortunate. I mean, it's five percent rate, so the the odds are one one rainbow per um, per twenty tickets. But of course, you know, doesn't always work that way. You might get five rainbows and three tickets, or three rainbows and five tickets, or you might get you know one rainbow and a hundred tickets. Now, I'm not. I don't think it's worth using these ten percent tickets that I've got on this banner because the rates are already boosted from blue tickets so it's not um it seems like it'd be better to save those uh those 10 percent tickets for a regular banner that does not have the boosted ticket rate i haven't even gotten a gold yet have i it's just been all blues <laughs> bad luck so far oh, oh what did i do push the wrong button Oh, let's go back to the Fina banner and keep going. Well, having to scroll down to the blue ticket every time I click this banner is kind of annoying. You know, maybe I'll just use those 10% those tickets just to get them out of the way so I don't have to keep scrolling. Speed it up a little bit. Hey, it's Larsa. Not very useful. Come on now. I'd kind of like a second Folka as well on JP. I'm not sure if she's currently in the pool of the, the festival pool. I, I actually don't know what units are in and are not in the festival banners. But Folka is a newer unit, kind of. So she's probably in the pool, but I don't know. 
Come on now. Give me a rainbow. Oh, I should have checked how many I had to start with so I could keep track. I know I had like something like 480 total tickets. That's like blue, green, and 10% um, combined. Or blue, gold, and 10% combined. So I've used what, like 20 or so? Oh, quit doing that. We've used about 20 ish so far. No luck yet. I was even considering going for Dark Fina's Super Team R, because it's pretty decent on her. Uh, but then again, I kind of kind of thought, you know, 5% rainbow tickets out of 5% ticket rate, I'll just be getting rainbows nonstop. But that's not the case so far. So maybe I won't go for that Super Team R. I probably won't, in fact, even if I do get her, like in the next few tickets, just because it's, it's not worth I'm trying to go back. Alright, so that... Alright, so now I've got 420 tickets remaining. If I go down to 400 tickets without a rainbow yet, I'll use up those 10% tickets. So, 20 more of these, and then I'll go to the 10%. See if I can get better luck. Not even a single gold. Look at this! Crazy! Hey, there's the first gold. <laughs> Making progress. <laughs> Gap carrying. Maybe not. So I don't think the, the blue and the gold units are like curated. I think those are still the whole pool of blue and gold units. It's only the rainbows that are specific a specific cluster of rainbows for the uh the banner. Obviously Gap Garion is like Three, three something years old at this point in JP. He was one of the first four star units like really early on. Come on. Five percent rate is a lie. And this is the banner that a lot of Japanese players are kind of upset about. They're saying that the rates are the rates are skewed towards the older unit, which is Dark Fina. And I actually, if the, if that is true, I'd be happy because I actually won Dark Fina more than Lunar Freya. But people that were pulling for Lunar Freya were like, "It's crazy! I got like ten Dark Finas before I got my second Lunar Freya." You know, could this all be total RNG? But I'd be happy. Because I want Hina. I still need a source of magical mitigation for that Moon Trial, though. That's kind of that's why I kind of want Lunar Freya as well. Because I don't have CG Charlotte, which is the the other good source of magic mitigation. Uh, so Lunar Freya could provide that. Like I'd bring Lunar Freya to the Moon Trial as well as Dark Venus, and I think with those changes and some other modifications to my original team. I can, um, I can like, at least make a better attempt at the moon trial. <laughs> but at this point, I can't even get a rainbow. It's crazy. All right, so ten more tickets, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use up those those ten percent tickets, assuming I don't get a rainbow. But yeah, I still need to clear the bomb trial. I need to clear the moon trial. The moon trial is really old in JP. It's like just an old trial. I just haven't cleared it because I don't have the, the mages. The bomb trial. I mean, the bomb trial can be done with physical units, but um, Barks was not really cutting it for the bomb trial because his damage is. He has AoE damage, but he's mostly single target damage. That's his main attack, the single target. And um, it just wasn't. You know, you need AOE for that bomb trial. So, and mages are better even with, um, just no matter what. Because the bombs imbue, and, imbue you and stuff, it's such a big headache. Uh, I still need to kill Kefka, Garland, uh, Emperor, and Cloud of Darkness series boss battles. So that's 6, 1, 2, and 3. I haven't cleared those yet. 
I haven't even tried them yet, so I'm not sure if Mage or Physical is better. But it will be nice to have Dark Fina or Bard, so I can go either direction. A really powerful Mage or a really powerful Melee or Physical unit. Ah, and then the Demon Wall Trial is also uh, released. Bards is supposedly good enough for that one. I just haven't um, put in the work of trying it. Uh, but here's the first rainbow. So here we go. Our first festival rainbow. Took like 35 tickets. But what'd we get? Dark Fina, please. Cloud of Darkness. Boo! I don't like her. Her kit. I considered pulling for her, but I was not impressed at all with her. Her kit. Um, so that's unfortunate that I pulled her. It's her TMR. 55 magic, 20% hit point. Like, her TMR is nice and all, but... Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I didn't really want her. Okay, well, whatever. Keep going. I mean, she has a new unit, so obviously she's in, she's in the festival pool. But she's not a festival unit herself. You can use the choice her still. I mean, she is a mage, so if I technically got a second one before Dark Fiend, I'd probably stop. Because, I mean, she is good enough. And she does still chain with all the Chaos Wave stuff like the rest of the mages do. I think Cloud of Darkness's elements are... Lightning, Wind, and Dark. Maybe? So I could chain Dark Element with Dark Fina. Which is cool. Man. Had to be an off-banner, didn't it? All right, so there is... Oh, quit doing going back. Uh, so that was... I'm just going to use these rainbow tickets. To, to, I'm, I'm tired of scrolling every time. I'm just going to use them. Whatever. 10% to 10% rainbow. Come on. I'm not sure if these are boosted on the festival as well. They're probably not. And this is probably really dumb for me to use these 10% tickets on this banner. But I just don't feel like scrolling past them every single pull. I'm going to have 400 more tickets to go. Yep. Not looking good so far. Alright, one more. And then I can at least stop scrolling. And... Oh! Cashing out! Got it. Alright, let's go. Give me that Dark Fina. Dark Fina! Luna Freya. I mean, okay, okay, it's on banner and I did want her. So that's one copy. Um... Her TMR is 20% Spirit, 52 Flat Spirit, 30% Water Resist, and then some Defense and Magic, and MP, a lot of MP as well. Her TMR is not bad. It's a, it's more of like a healer TMR, I guess. Good for tanks, too. Magical tanks. Uh, yeah. So I got one of her. So, okay. Now I got 400 tickets to go. So I still want that Dark Fiend in it. Uh, I really don't want more than two Lunar Freyas, though, because her Super TMR is pretty bad. It's, like, it's plus Esper damage or something, and, like, I... Es even with, like, all the Super TMRs in the world, summoning Espers for damage is still terrible. It's it's really unfortunate. Actually, I think, isn't Bayomet supposed to be decent Esper damage? Maybe with Bayomet, it's better now. I haven't really been keeping up. I don't know. If Bayomet's two-star, it might be... It might have, like, saved summoner damage, or evoke damage, whatever, you know, actually summoning the Esper. I don't mean, like, you know, uh, Yuna's damage or something. I don't know. But in any case, I don't, I don't have a summoner anyway, and I don't want a summoner. So I really don't want more than two Lunar Freyas. So I do want one more copy at some point, but that's it. So hopefully we get the Fina before the second Luna Freya. Or the two Finas. And Fina's, Dark Fina's TMR, just a regular TMR, is really nice too. It's 50% uh, magic when wearing a robe, which is basically all the mages. And 20% um, fire, dark, and earth resist. But the main thing is it's 50% magic plus magic. And of course, in JP, everything stacks. So you can just run three copies of her TM or four copies of her TMR, and just load up on magic that magic bonus with a lot of resistance. Although 
to be honest, it's probably better to gear um, for like actual trials. It's better to gear for like spirit and defense and hit points over just pure magic. You know, glass cannon a really bad idea in most of the trials. Luna. All right. Still with the blues. At least both of the rainbows I pulled were decent rainbows. Like Luna Freya is a decent unit, and um, Cloud of Darkness, you know, it, it is. She is a nice unit, even though I don't want her. She's still a good unit. Assuming I ever pull the second one. But I could use it of choice this the cloud of darkness if I got desperate or something. <laughs> but I don't really want to. Hey, upgrade. Let's do it again. Nope. Original warrior blade. Ah, oh, once again I backed on the banner. I need to quit doing that. Alright. So it's a lot of tickets so far. This 5% rainbow rate seems to be on the lower side for me. I'm not getting enough rainbows for 5%. Actually, one of my rainbows was from a 10% ticket, so that doesn't, that doesn't even really count. I've only gotten one rainbow from these blue tickets so far. And I've used, like, what, 60 of them at this point? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was at almost 500 tickets. I was at, like, 497. So I've used about 60 tickets, I think. I've only had one rainbow from a blue ticket. How about this? Upgrade again. Come on. Oh, there it is. Double upgrade. Here we go. Alright. Please, Dark Fina. Please. There we go. First copy. Got it. Got it. Excellent. Outstanding. CG Dark Fina. Oh, get in your crystal. That's, that's how you do it. <laughs> The Earth Crystal. That's actually why she got uh, the Earth Element in her kit. Is because she's like from the Earth Shrine, if you remember from the storyline. I'm sure that's not a spoiler because that, that happens like right away in the story, like the first your first day of storyline. So that's not a spoiler. Uh, but yeah, so there we go, one and one. All right, so if I get that second Dark Fina before the second Lunar Freya, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard decision. Do I keep going or not for that second Lunar Freya? Now, the thing is, I wouldn't mind CG Dark Fina's Super Team R. That's a really good one. It's a whip with, like, 180 magic, and it gives 50% magic when um, single-handing. So you can just, you can give that, and she's got, a, she's got I think, 100% uh, double-hand magic in her kit naturally. So just with her, C her Super Team R and her passes, she's got 150% true double-hand for magic. And you can add in... Um, uh, what is it? I forget the guy's name. Oh, uh, what's his name? The the, the, the three-star unit, or the four-star unit, that gives true double hand for magic as well. So you can add that in, and have um, the cap of 200%. I can't think of the name. I know it's Khalifa is one of the, or Khalifa is one of the ones for Global, from the King's Knight collaboration. JP does not have that. There's also another one. I cannot think of the name. The three is three or four star unit. That gives double hand magic. What's the TMR? I don't know. I don't know. Magical potential is the name of the TMR. I thought of that. I can't think of the unit. I still can't think of the unit's name though. I could look it up, but I don't care. The point is, I'm sure I have him on JP. And if I pull him during this from a blue ticket, I'll, I'll point him out. I will. I will uh, recognize him. Probably. All right. So give me that one more, one more Fina. Right, that's the plan. One more Dark Fina. I've gotten one and one so far, and then a Cloud of Darkness. You know what the best part's gonna be? Cleaning up all these blue, these blue units. <laughs> Probably so tedious after like a big a big summon summon event is cleaning up like the 150 blue units and fusing them all together. Oh, it takes forever. 
But it's worth it. You get, you get some nice TMRs from doing that every now and then. Alright. Oh, here we go. Rainbow. Let's go. Let's go. Give me either of the banner units. Either one. Give me the Dark Fina, though. Oh, Elephant. Oh, well, Elephant. Okay. Elephant is amazingly overpowered in current JP. That's only my first copy, so that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't do anything for me. But I am not upset to get my first copy of Elephant because she is brokenly strong on JP with her enhancements, and that's that's a nice that's a nice pull. I'm I'm pleased with that. I I will accept that off banner rainbow for my first copy of Elephant. I know some people, some of the I think like Whoop, if you people that watch his videos. I think he actually unit of choice two copies of Elephant because she's that good. So that's kind of cool that I pulled her. I wouldn't mind getting a second one at some point. But still, it's not what I really wanted though. So let's uh, just keep going. Getting me my second Dark Fina. So for those of you that don't know, Dark Fina, or the CG Dark Fina, I think her her technical translated name is White Lily Dark Fina. Uh, but anyway, her um, her kit is she changed Chaos Wave. It's she has the Dark Element, the Fire Element, the Earth Element, and Non Elemental. So she can change technically if you count Non Elemental. She changed four different elements in her kit. And she has 120% in perils to fire, earth, and dark. Now, obviously, you can't imperil non-elemental. But that's, that's pretty much her whole kit. She just chains those and um, does a whole lot of damage. And she's pretty tanky, too. She's a really good unit. I didn't really want to pull for her at first when her banner first rolled around because she's a limited unit. You know, she's a festival unit, which is technically a limited unit. And I don't like pulling for limited units. But on the Japanese server, I'm much more flexible with my with my resources. Like it's, you know, I play the Japanese version casually, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. Yeah, my globe, my global account, like my main account, you know, so to speak. So I I, I plan I I do those pulls a lot more seriously. I need to quit getting out of that banner. Oh, here we go. Maybe getting, getting out of the banner was helpful. Alright, let's go. Show it to me. Oh, Lunar Freya number two. I mean, that's that's wonderful, but I wanted to get Dark Fina. Okay, seven star Lunar Freya. I gotta keep going for Dark Fina, though. Oh, now, now it's dangerous to pull. Because that third Lunar Freya is a total disaster. And the fourth Lunar Freya really doesn't do anything for me. Because her super TMR is not good. Oh, I really want to get that Dark Fina before her. I was, I was actually going to consider keep going if I got the first, the Dark Fina number two first. Because then getting more Dark Fina while chasing a Lunar Freya would not be a bad thing. It would have been fine. Because that can work towards her super TMR. Obviously, I would have stopped at four Dark Fina and one Lunar Freya if I'd gotten to that point. Like, I wouldn't keep going. I wouldn't keep going with that. But now I'm in the disaster position of one of two Lunar Freya and one Dark Fina. Because now now I'm like now I'm like real nervous about pulling that third Lunar Freya. I hope it doesn't happen. I really don't. But the good news is I do have a 7-star Lunar Freya now, and Lunar Freya is a really good magical mitigator. So that'll be useful for the Moon Trial when I go back to it. It should also help for, like, the Kefka Trial. I think he's real big on magic. Um, the Garland Trial is probably bigger on... I don't really know. The, the I, I haven't, like, read about those. I haven't been worried about it. The, um... The bomb trial is actually more dangerous with the physical attacks, truthfully. You need high defense, so Luna Freya will not be on the team for the dark, the de um, the bomb trial. I mean, the magic damage in the bomb trial is important, but it's all elemental damage, so you can you can just you know immune it with buffs and resistance. 
but not the physical. But yeah, Luna Freya is going to be a big MVP on the Moon Trial, I think. If I somehow manage to pull two Charlotte before being done here, uh, or CG Charlotte, she'd probably be on the team instead of Luna Freya for Magical Mitigation. Because she can actually tank and Magical Mitigate. But, um... Yeah. Uh, every rainbow I see is going to make me nervous. Scared that it's Luna Freya. <laughs> I really want that um, Dark Fina, not Luna Freya. Or I guess Saul. You know, getting two Sauls from this would be kind of cool too. Although I really want, I really want Dark Fina now that I got one, because she is a really good unit. Lot of upgrades. Wanna do it again? Aw. Setzer, fixed dice. Fixed dice is so dead in JP. They nerfed it. Does not work anymore. Hmm. Come on. So what am I at? Three fifty tickets remaining. I've used somewhere around 150 tickets at this point. Maybe slightly less. I think I have like 490 tickets, so I've used, what, 140 tickets? Or wait, no, am I, am I doing this math wrong? Oh, no, I'm not counting the gold tickets. So I've used about 100 tickets now. So 100 tickets, and I've gotten, what, four rainbows, I think? Yeah, 400 remaining. So I've used about actually 90 tickets and gotten four, I think, four rainbow. I got. Let's see, so I got um, one Fina, two Luna Freya, one Elephim, and one Cloud of Darkness. I've gotten five rainbows, actually. So five rainbows and 90 tickets. Okay, so I guess it is it, it is averaging out to um, a 5% rainbow rate. One of those is a 10% ticket, so I guess that kind of throws off the calculations a little bit. I mean, it's fine. We're still within that margin of error, I guess. Oh, here we go. There's number six. Alright. Don't do this to me. Don't give me Luna Freya again. There it is! Dark Fiend at number two. Stop in here. I'm, I, I'd like her Super TMR, but not, not anymore. Got it. Number two copy. Okay. So, how was our, how was our pulls? Oh, you know what? I actually don't even know which of these is sort by obtained. Is it this one? Let's see, five star only. No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try one more time. Which one is sort by obtained? That's not it either. That is okay. Here it is. So I obtained uh, in order: um, darkness, two Luna Freya, two CG Dark Fiona, and one Elephant. Okay. And I'm 99% sure that was my only CG, my only Alephum. Let me double check. Yeah, my only Alephum. Okay. So I still need one more. I, I do want a second Alephum. Okay. Uh, well, there's the pull video. Now it's time for me to clean, clean, up, clean up the inventory, level up Dark Fina, and level up Luna Freya. And I'm going to be making some more attempts on the Bomb Trial and the Wicked Moon Trial. See you guys a little bit later.